So most people actually pronounce as Porsche, the common common thing. But actually, the pro proper way to pronounce it is Porsche. So it's Porsche uh, with the sh at the back there. Yeah. So you can try and see Porsche. Porsche. Yeah, it's a very uh, uncommon tone, so a lot of people cannot pronounce it properly, but once you do it a few times, it'll be very normal already. Yeah, so if you pronounce it as Porsche, yeah, that's the most common uh, Porsche or Porsche. Uh, the product is Porsche. My name is Adrian, the Porsche lover. Why I call myself the Porsche lover is because this handle actually came from uh, for me driving the cars because I wanted to document the journeys with the cars. So I wanted to have a separate account because I'm a pretty private person so I don't like to uh, show people that I have this car at a time. So I would like to document the journeys and the cars I go, the drives I go to without uh, people knowing who I am. So in the early days, I didn't even put my face or my name at all. So people will know me, they will know of course I'm the Porsche lover but they wouldn't know who I am let's say if you are new to Instagram. Why do I love Porsche? I mean, and it is not hard to fall in love with this brand because for me actually a lot of people think that Porsche is a luxury brand. Like it's like you buy the car because I already made it in life, already had I already made 10 million, so I want to buy a Porsche to do it. But for me, that is actually very far from it because I view it as a driving machine first. So you're talking about driving machines, um, Porsche has one of the most unique experiences you can get from driving. Because Porsche is one of the only manufacturers or one of the few manufacturers in the world that only does um, rear engine cars. Most of the new cars are front engine, so those are very different to drive. And by right, by physics, rear engine cars doesn't do well on the roads. But Porsche spent the time and effort to refine the car over years and years. And they won so many races from Le Mans to GT Racing to Rally. So they've clinched the most medals or championships for any car manufacturer in the world in the lifetime. Yeah, so that's why I love Porsche. The most famous uh, Porsche will be the 911 or 911. So that will be the, the car to have like, for most people when they turn on Porsche, that's the car. Because a lot of people, uh, be it a young person or old person, they will not know the Porsche brand. Oh, so they won't know 911, but they will know the 911 shape because that shape has been timeless since uh, day one. The Porsche was actually ingrained in my mind very young because I was watching Transformers uh, G1 Generation 1 back in the 80s. So one of the um, Transformers Autobot Jazz is actually a Porsche as well. And by the time, I wouldn't know because I'm so young. So, but a lot of people would know or associate the Porsche brand with the 911 shape. Yeah, the iconic 911 curve and hums. In total, there's a lot right now. They have SUVs, uh, they have uh, small SUVs, they have uh, four-door sedans. Uh, in, in Malaysia right now or anywhere in the world, a lot of people actually see cars as uh, luxury objects. Uh, so, end of the day, uh, talk about general public, lah, what people buy is that they find that they want to do something better. So, the next level to upgrade usually will be a Porsche, uh, be it a four door sedan, the, the SUV Macan, the Cayenne. But for me, like I said earlier, I, I, what I recommend is that because it drives unlike anything else. If you drive a Porsche Cayenne or Macan, SUV. That is the best driving SUV you can buy in the, in the market right now. It's like talking about this normal, attainable luxury vehicle, Porsche will be the best in the market in terms of driving wise. And of course, another thing is that reliability, very important. One of the more reliable German continental brands. So, um, contrary to popular belief, uh, Maintaining a Porsche isn't as expensive as everyone thinks it is. So what I mean as I can give you an example will be a Porsche Cayman, maybe a 97 or 981 Cayman or Boxster. So these cars are pretty easy to maintain, wear and tear and everything. So uh, speaking of car clubs in Malaysia, okay, of course you buy a Porsche and everything. Really. So of course, one of the nicest or best way to experience the Porsche is via the community. Because uh, anyway, you're not buying the car, you're also buying the community because um, Porsche usually um, will have a pretty good mix of uh, different people from different different uh, walks of life. They have doctors, they have engineers, so they actually get to network and connect and people. So, so the main um, club in Malaysia will be Porsche Club Malaysia PCM. So that is the uh, official and recognized club by Porsche AG in Germany. Yeah, so we are number 170 in Malaysia, 170. 
Yeah, so that is the main club. And of course, there'll be other sub sub groups which also you can join as well. Uh, there'll be like a Porsche drivers group, a Porsche owners group. Uh, those are unofficial uh, groups that you can join as well. Uh. So I can say they're very active. Uh, almost every weekend, they will have a drive or event. There are a lot of activities. Uh, of course, the main one, of the, I say one of the main reasons why you buy a Porsche will be uh, the drives. So they have a lot of uh, car club events. So like uh, the most common will be the Tetaric session, the quite Tetaric session, or the quite cars and coffee. So you meet up, you go to a place, you have coffee, chit chat, geek out about cars, talk about cars and everything. Yeah, so that and also of course you get to network and contact with people. Yeah, then after we have the longer drives like uh, like last weekend I did a 300 km drive. So we we'll go trail camp. So I tell the guys, hey, we're going to Bentong trail camp. Ah, I said no way, but Bentong got trail camp, impossible. But <laughs> so yeah, so we went to Bentong, Rao, uh, Kuala Lipis, and then one big round. So then of course, uh, one of the nicest one I feel that you need to drive to Thailand. Yeah, so Thailand will be like a four or five days drive. Like that. Yeah, so um, besides the drives, there are also um, events like uh, like uh, how learning how to drive driving courses. Yeah, so you can drive uh, on the track. You can drive uh, on the uh, gym car now, auto cross and everything. So one of the latest rage in the car scene, uh, a lot of car guys go crazy, uh, will be this uh, short stretch of highway in uh, in Negris in Milan. So it's called the Pantai Temyang. So it's, re uh, it's a very short road, about roughly, roughly about five minutes drive only. But the wheels there are just insanely beautiful. So it looks as if you're in uh, some other country like New Zealand or in Europe. Beautiful roads, beautiful uh, way to drive there. And it's not that far. It's only about an hour plus, one and a half hours to drive to there. Then after that, if you're interested enough, you can actually go to Pokizen for Makan also. Uh, it's good for photos, excellent for photos. Yeah, and it, but I, I only wish the, the, the road was a bit longer. Yeah, because it just looks insanely beautiful. I mean, and it, the road is beautiful in real life and also in photos. Yeah. So in the last two months, because the, the highway was just open recently, I think back in June, July this year. So at the time of course it was locked down for FMCO. So right now, they, they all the car clubs, every weekend show us there's someone going there to, to take photos and drive and everything. Okay, so if you guys are interested in getting a Porsche, uh, please uh, follow the channel. And uh, I will say that if you haven't driven a Porsche before, I would think that most people will be pleasantly surprised at the cars itself. I, I would like to sh say that please um, explore Malaysia. Malaysia has a lot of beautiful places because a lot of people they always think that oh Malaysia is boring. They rather fly to Thailand, to Europe, and everywhere. But Malaysia is so so beautiful. So many things here. Actually, during the past two years of pandemic, it really opened up my mind, and uh, I, I found a lot of new places in Malaysia. So that will be one of the ways. Of course, you don't buy a Porsche, it's okay as well. You can use other cars, but go and explore Malaysia.